welcome back to the channel uh, to another Flames of War Battle Report uh, that is uh, part of the Firestorm Gazala campaign. So this is uh, round three, game three. As you notice, there's only actually two battle reports for this campaign. That's because other people have been playing it because I am German High Command and Jimmy is British High Command. But we thought we'd play a couple of games uh, just to take part because obviously it's quite fun playing Flames of War and being part of the campaign. Uh, but this is actually the penultimate game and at the moment, uh, the allies kind of hold all the cards. The everything needs to go quite well for the Axis to pull off a victory. Now, this one slightly bit more uh, one-sided in my favour uh, because I've got a lot of Firestorm units backing me up today, giving me quite a lot of extra stuff. Um, so it's about damage limitation because if Jimmy can uh, uh, whittle down my units, he could still kill Firestorm units and weaken my drive to Tobruk. We have the defending British list for today, commanded by Jimmy. We have an Anzac Rifle Company. So for people who don't know the Anzacs, uh, basically they have a 3 plus rally rating. So normally a 4, but now to a 3. So here we have the Rifle Company, we have a HQ of two uh, SMLE teams, we then have two small platoons uh, consisting of five brand gun rifle teams, a boys anti-tank and a two inch mortar, a full platoon of seven rifle teams, a boys anti-tank and a two inch mortar, two Vickers heavy machine guns, six eight centimetre mortars, four six pounders and a unit of three six pounders and that is all in formation so if i break the formation today uh, it will be a very good day uh, in support we have three bofers four 25 pounders three crusader twos and three valentine twos so all two pounder tanks here and we have three points of planned raid so it will be useful in this mission basically uh, jim will move a an objective four inches in any direction as long and you know paying attention to the original deployment uh interesting unit today to look at will be the bofers so they will have something to shoot at considering i have stukas but all in all they're a decent anti-tank gun for mid-war uh, so if they're not pinned, this unit will have nine shots. You can have six of them. The anti tank seven with a four plus firepower. So overall, not bad. But remember, they are a large gun. So if you do have them and want to put them in ambush, be careful because they can't be within 16 inches. So my list is a little bit more than 100 points because it's swollen by Firestorm units, which I've incorporated into the main formation. The main formation is a Panzer three company. So I have a HQ of two uh, uh, long five centimeter Panzer threes. We then have two units of Panzer threes. Now these are my Firestorm units. So we have one long five centimeter in each unit, and all the rest are short fives. Uh, also in formation, we have four Panzer twos and four Panzer fours with long barrels. In support, we have two eight point eight centimeter AA guns, a Panzer two OP, four ten point five centimeter howitzers. An allied support unit in the form of five Semaventes and two Stukas. So, command card wise, we have Pure Luck, and Rommel is a Firestorm unit coming along. Aircraft are also Firestorm. Uh, so, Rommel basically, uh, unit lead, uh, formation command leadership is eight inches rather than six. If I win, I gain a VP. If I lose, I lose one. Key unit, don't get to see him too much uh, in favour of Vesps for late war and other artillery, but we have the 10.5 centimeter artillery battery. So normally it used to be changed to capture 25s because it used to be uh, cheaper. Um, and 25 pound is kind of all rounder, um, but these guys are out and out artillery uh, with anti-tank three, with a three plus firepower. Um, and if Jimmy ever gets close enough to my anti-tank nine, I'm going to be in big trouble anyway, but they could be a key unit, and this is my list. Okay, so the mission is outmaneuver, but we uh, messed up because um, I went first, I just realised that, but um, yeah, so that, that was a bit of a problem, but, uh, and it is meant to be a meeting engagement as well, so let's have a look to see how much we messed this one up. So we've got outmaneuver. 
meet an engagement defender. All right, so basically, yeah, Jimmy should have had first turn, but he wouldn't be able to fire bombardments. But uh, yeah, hopefully that didn't have too much of an impact on the game. But um, no minefields, which helps me a lot. But as you can see, where the objective goes, puts it right on the edge of Jimmy's deployment. Normally they're a little bit further in, but with his command card he's got, he's able to tuck the objective a little bit further, four inches into his deployment zone, and surround it with infantry. So, deployment. Jimmy has decided to defend the top right corner of the map, as it affords the high ground with the dunes and um, escarpments. Um, so I, I'm attacking from the bottom, uh, slightly to the left, but with my spearhead I was able to put pretty much all my armour other than the Semiventis there and my 88s. The 105 centimetre howitzers are hiding behind the palm groves with a Panzer II OP being their eyes. Now Jimmy has gone the hard way by putting his uh, three six-pounders, his bofers, in reserve. Uh, he has got his four six-pounders, um, in ambush, 25 pounders up on the ridge uh, with the infantry dotted around, but with the full uh, platoon uh, in reserve as well. So my Sam Aventes are the only ones uh, directly down from uh, Jimmy's deployment, uh, so hopefully they can add some artillery. Before we start, don't forget to check out the link in the description. I'll take you to Firestorm Games. They are great value on all your favourite games. So whether it be wargaming, card games or board games, they have it all and they do have discount of everything. They're fast, reliable and by uh, clicking my link, it helps support me and my channel. So please have a little look. I'm sure they'll have something you want start of the game Jimmy gets to move that four inches um, any direction as long as it stays in you know where it should be in because he's just moving it diagonally across that is perfectly fine and while Jimmy is doing that the only starting step thing I have to do is to see if my aircraft come in and they do Phew. do you say I was worried that your both fizz would be there but they're not so I'm happy movement everything's just pushing forward by here i did fail a blitz on the panzer twos and the stukas are by there so i'm going to start with them i'm going to try and range in basically just catching the two 25 pounders no, not clipping any terrain so veteran three nope it's two ones so far there we go so i'll be hitting you on five so the one closest to me yep and the other one so, uh, four plus. Oh, um, nah, it's, no, it's not worth just getting one, but they're pinned. So I'll take that. And... I'll see about the Semiventes. The Semiventes is a veteran, by the way. So Semiventes tried to range in, uh, failed on his three attempts, tried ranging in where the 10.5s ranged in on their second attempt, missed the 25 pounders, killed an infantry team from this platoon and pinned the HQ. So next up, my unit of three Panzer fours are going to go into the Vickers heavy machine guns, uh, main guns, so requiring sixes. I just get one. Uh, yep. Good. Um, the next unit, uh, one's going to be blocked. So I'll see if he has got range on the 25 pounders, but they'll just go into the Vickers again with three. Get another hit. He's okay. They haven't got much of a range. Why is the range? There's 28 to get to range. Ooh, I think that is too far. It's only 24, short. Uh, these two guys are going to fire their main guns at the Vickers as well. Uh, it's going to be sevens because I fired wrong. And then I'm just going to see if the Panzer Fours have range on the 25 pounders. So the direct fire is 32 for the Panzer Fours. 
so it's only the black guy who actually no, he can hit only him. Those three can hit both. Okay. The guy who can only hit him. The other three. Nah. Um Rommel is here. And they're both longs. Well, yeah, yeah, he's oh. well well not 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 per se, they just everyone gets better motivation. Yeah, they can just get him. No. Uh, that's my turn. Oh yeah, eighty eight. Yeah, they'll fire you twenty five pounders. Well, they're the only thing they can fire at. So four is normally five can see them, but six gone around seven to range. There's one cocked. Yeah. Sounds optimistic. Um, yeah, that's it. So, British turn one. Rally test. Yep. Rally test for them. Yep. We roll in for the 25 pounders because the HQ's right in front of them. Did we? Yeah, you did. I'm just saying, I'm explaining to the viewer. Oh, to the, I'm explaining to the fans. <laughs> Um, me. Are you bringing in your ambush? Uh, yes. Okay, and then when dice reserves. Come on. No. no. So uh, this is where the six pounders ended up. There's going to be no movement, so we're going to shoot in. I'll start with the six pounders because I need to think about everything else. Okay. <coughs> so uh, for note to everyone, they are, well, over 16 inches away because there's no concealment. That's per the rules. Otherwise, they could be four inches if there was concealment, but unfortunately, there isn't. So that means you will be hitting my tanks on fives. Any unit in particular you're going to go for? Panzer twos, no doubt. <laughs> uh, I need to actually kind of understand what's what. That's a mess. Right, so each unit of Panzer threes has four tanks, three shorts. Yeah. That's one unit. Hit. They're your Panzer fours. That's your HQ. Yeah. And then they Panzer twos. Two oh, oh, units or one, one, two? one unit. We could fire the eighty-eight if you wanted to. Just be plus one harder as well because it's... I mean, twenty-five got to shoot something later. <laughs> <coughs> um, I think I've plenty of units in there. 28? Mid war? 20, yeah. I think it's 32 late. Oh, no, I can actually get up to everything I think. Except that last panzer, uh, last panzer 4. Um, random, fuck. I might. <coughs> I'm gonna go for the HQ. Okay, oh no. Okay, got it. <laughs> 8 shots on 5s. Class 3. 3 Um. Yeah, I'll, I'll keep it, I'll keep it on them. Um, so two on one, one on the other, yeah? Yep. Okay. Um, so my front armor goes to six, so I need threes to equal. So the, um, I'm guessing the two will be on, the oh, I can swap them anyway, so, like, like, whoever the unit leader is, there's no role for that. So first guy, uh, one chance to bail, one chance to pen, and the other guy, uh, oh, but also chance to pen. So... To kill the guy who is also a bail. Bail. Uh, so he's just bailed, and the other guy is dead. So, one HQ tank dead, and one bailed. What's the armor on him? Um, it's, it's not going to be a lot. Three. Give me up. Three. Top armor one. <coughs> Okay, my 25s are going to target your OP. <laughs> okay. And if I take him out... So you're going to have to drop a template on him, yeah? Yeah. Uh, just just roll, uh, and I'll, I'll just check yeah. it out. So, uh... It'd be a 4 with the terrain. Yeah. Nope. Yep. So hit me on a 5. Well, our ally is cocked. Yes. Um, uh, so it's 18. Pure luck, it. I don't know, I, 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 I know it's a bit of a waste, but I want to keep my uh, OP, alive. OP alive for now. 
Okay, so that's pretty tough one. Um, mortars and vicars. Vickers are gonna stay on the ground. I mean, like <laughs> mortars. The only thing is a range. Forty, is it? I think it's 32. The anti-tank one, aren't they? 32. An anti-tank one or two? Anti-tank one, so they can't even do anything. Not to them, no. Or, or to my other tanks. The only thing they can hurt is the uh, 88s, if they're in range. <coughs> I should have. I thought you were going to, to be honest. Well, that's because I'm like so fixated on one. Yeah, because I could have done that guy. I've removed That's it then. Okay, turn two. So I got a remount. Ah, oh, he's in. I need to wait for the other one. And aircraft. No. Oh, I could have done with them. Okay. Movement. Uh, one platoon has moved uh, into the shrub with the HQ. Panzer twos are moving up. These guys do the blitz, and the guy with the dice has moved. So um, I'm going to land a template uh, in the main, middle, yeah, with the same event days. Um, I'll roll and I'll roll to see because it's not going to be clipping terrain. Got it. Same advantage range in first time. Got three six pounders in the template with a reroll, missed all three. But got the bulk of the infantry, which I didn't need, but I didn't get any kills. So repeat bombardment with the 10.5s. So 25 pounder hit, other 25 pounder missed. Uh, HQ hit, hit. So 25 pounder with a reroll. Dead. HQ team. Dead. Other HQ team. He's alive. My unit of Panzer Force here are going to go for your six pounders. Uh, direct firing with the main. Well, direct firing, that's all they can do with their main guns. Uh, hitting you on fives. Uh, one hit. I'll just, just put on the closest one, yeah. Mm. He's good. Three plus save. Mm. Okay, so Panzer 2 is two are firing at the six pounders. Uh, two more hits. So they're the, I think they're the only ones they can hit anyway. Fives. Got one. And then the other two are going to fire at the MGs. Get one hit. That is the only one I could hit anyway. Okay. And then... How many dice did I roll when I fired at your six pounders with these? I thought you fired your... I fired four shots, didn't I? I should have had three more. I, I blitzed them. I thought you said you fired your Panzer fours at them. No, no, no. The Panzer these. Panzer threes. I thought you said Panzer four. Okay. No, so I should have three more shots. That's more like it. What were you shooting at? The six pounders. It was. It was. It, they should have had three more because I blitzed them. <sighs> he was alive. Yeah, but you just got two saves to do. <laughs> oh, okay, but they're pinned. Um, that unit's gonna fire main gun into them as well. Six into the six pounders, yeah. Uh, no hits. And my HQ is just going to go for him. No. Uh, Panzer fours. Uh, all of them are in range, aren't they? Or is he just out? 32. <coughs> no, he's out. He's no, out. Okay. So it's going to be sixes. Uh, just the one. He's okay. And the 88s are going to go for them as well. I mean, it's that on them now. They're pinned anyway, hit them with the 10.5s. Wait, did you? Uh, one from the 88. Oh, nice. Nice saves. Uh, yeah, that is... That is it from me. The Stukas would have been very handy. Very handy. Okay, so British turn two. Uh, what are you going to try and rally first? The HQ? Yeah. Yes, it's the, the Anzacs. Yeah. 
Oh, no. Which we forgot last time we played. <laughs> Twenty fives. Yeah. Um, infantry. Infantry. Yeah. Yeah. And six pounders. Oh. oh. <laughs> that was close. Okay. Okay. And uh, two dice reserves. Oops. Sorry. Sorry. Two dice. Two. So British movement, Jimmy's brought on his big platoon of infantry and the Bofas are coming in to help deal with the Stukas. More movement. More movement. So that other short platoon have moved over. Oh yeah, because they lost one chap, didn't they? Okay, so we go into British shooting. Are you going to start with the six pounders again? Uh, yes. I will have them target uh... Should be they uh, should be short range. Uh maybe not that guy on that platoon over there. No. Oh, God, that's how sad I am, I can judge it by eye now. And he's not short on him. Okay, that's good to know. Uh, you hit on four. Fours, yeah. Because so of the cover, yeah. Uh, I will target this. Can you get that? So four hit me on fours, two hit me on fives. Like, dice-wise. Yes. Okay. So these are the fours. Well, four hit me on four, hit me on four, four hit me on five, yeah. No, four hit me on fours, yeah. two are hitting me on fives, because you got already got six. Oh, bloody hell, yeah. You lost one. <laughs> Right, so here's the fours. Good, so that's three hits. And then the fives. Right. Yeah, so it's hit. So one's double up. Okay, so I'm going to try and swap one of the ones that no, was. No, not. You've got four in that, don't you? Yeah, yeah, but I'm gonna, one of them is a potential yeah. long range. So two, so two, one is yes. long range anyway. Yeah, yeah, sorry, yeah. Uh, yeah, so it's two on long range. So that would be one on him. And one, one on, on him. him. Okay. And then. The other two like that. Yeah, excellent. Um, oh, do the long range first. Okay, so um, five, six, uh, seven, eight, so that goes through. So I'm four up. Uh, bail. So just put, put a one maximum. Okay, next, uh, long range. Yeah, bounce. And then I need fours to equal. So him and the other guy, bounce. So chance to kill on a four. <laughs> it's the one thing that lets down six pounders is the firepower. Well, not that it would have helped. I rolled ones on both of them. Oh, that's true. <laughs> uh, okay, all right then. It's not so bad. <laughs> all right, are you repeating your bombardment on the pa the poor Panzer two? I am. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> uh, on a four. Yay. Anything else? I need to check something. That is British shooting then. What have you done? Nothing. Okay. It's fine because I want to be now okay. Um can you measure um what's the range between my HQ tank and those two bailout guys? One's just doing it in eight, isn't it? Eight inches, and then the other guy's out of it. Okay. So, because of Rommel, the first guy is back in, and the other guy is back in. And my aircraft are coming in. Okay, so movement. These Panzer threes are moving just to engage the freshly arrived infantry. Uh, Panzer fours have come on, uh, done a blitz. Uh, Stukas are here, they are out of range of the Bofors, unfortunately. Uh, so um, what I'm going to do, I'm going to start with ranging in on this clump here. Nope. Nope. <laughs> Yay! So if you check me the template, it's just the juiciest target I've got. So yeah, it is just going to go on all of them. But I'm hitting them on sixes. So there are four rifle teams, including the unit leader. Uh, a boy's anti-tank. A boy's anti-tank. And a two-inch mortar. Right. Stukas have been useless. 
um, Semaventis. So the six pounder closest to me. Hit. Uh, se uh, six pounder in the middle. Missed. Other six pounder is hit. And then you got the two inch more uh, two inch mortar in the middle. Hit. Uh, the rifle team. No, I, I, oh yeah, it is him, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Unit leader. Missed. And then the rifle team next to them. Missed. And HQ is hit. Okay, so double saves now. Six pounder. It's okay. Uh, six pounder. It's okay. Um, two inch mortar. It's okay. HQ. No, he's okay. Uh, 88 and uh, open up on the 25 pounds on the ridge. Uh, one hit so far. One hit. It's okay. Uh, Panzer fours are going to open up on the 25 pound on the ridge. Come on, bring me sixes. Uh, just one, two. two. So, who was that? Dan. Dan. Just on him? Yep. Oh, yeah, he's gone. And then they're going to be rearranging in the 10.5 centimetres, uh, basically roughly where the same event is are. Don't, don't, don't do it like this. Don't do it like this. Got it. <laughs> Do you want to try and get different target? HQ is okay. Uh, two inch mortar, rifle team, unit leader. Sixes, because uh, oh, my. Yeah, so closest six pounder, middle, last one. No, they're all okay. Um, Panzer fours, main gun in it. Oh, these Panzer threes. Main gunning it into your six pounders. Uh, two hits. Uh, yes, please. Uh, him. Him. Jeez. It's four firepower though. Nah. Uh, Rommel is going to fire them then. It'll be a six. Oh, oh, a che uh, check. I oh, know you'll go for the um, Vickers Heavy Machine Guns then. No. And Panzer Twos. Um, so two will go for the Six Pounders and two will go for the Vickers. So Six Pounders. Uh, gets me two hits. Uh, one hit, sorry. It's okay. And then into the Vickers. Uh, they're okay. And then those guys are in a dilemma. I think I will just hose down your infantry. So, 16 shots hitting them on fours. So, first four, just one hit. And then, two more. None. Uh, so, five total, which pins you. I'll put one on a boy's anti tank. No, I'll swap it off. Yep. Nope. Okay, so, uh, as I so, okay, rifle team. Yep. Rifle team. Rifle team. Now uh, one goes. Rifle team. Always out of the tank. It's okay. Nice success. Um, Rommel's gonna do a shoot and scoop, which he does. Uh, Panzer twos are gonna do a shoot and scoot, which I don't. Um, Sam Aventes are going to do a shoot and scoot, which they do. Um, got a lot of stuff got pinned. So HQ, uh, they they or... they pinned, yeah. yeah. No re, HQ. I don't think they'll have a re roll no, now. No. HQ. <coughs> He's good. Uh, pinned six pounders. Yep. Yep. Uh, infantry. Yep. They're all good. 24 pounders. Yep. Yeah. And infantry. No. Uh, okay. Take a 
no, three dice reserves. Hey, that's two more. Two more. Movement Rise Crusaders and move tactical speed, whopping 14 inches. These guys are moved onto the ridge. Uh, infantry try to dig in, they fail. These infantry are continuing to sweep around, and that is it. So, hoping to get rid of at least another six pounder that turn, but it did not happen. Oh, smoke. Right, so is it going to be from the furthest guy? Yes, so uh, unless you don't count him and you can just, you, you oh, just don't you reduce the distance of the smoke. Um, yeah, how many teams are firing the smoke? Yeah, but yeah, you won't be able to fire smoke again with him later on. And, no. But yeah, if you wanted to get that a little bit more distance, you just don't fire him. All right, we'll come back. But we'll, we'll, roll your three dice just to see if you get. Are they are veteran or are they trained? They are trained. So fools. Oh, well, well and truly got it. <laughs> smoke. So you can't shoot them, no. okay? No. But you can repeat the bombardment with the twenty-five pounders there. But you I just have to, that yeah. Off. But you have to re you have to roll two dice. Yeah. No. And then you've got three long-range concealed shots onto the seven ventes. No. Didn't. Oh, well, we'll added up to six. And that's a few. Two and four. Uh, aircraft. No. Right, we'll come back after yes. movement. Yeah. With the smoke as it is, the Germans are pushing into assault. Luckily, I'm actually staying outside of danger close to my template somehow. It, it does work out like that. Um, but yes, so we're going to start off with a repeat bombardment from the 10.5s, which will be plus one harder because I can't see the range and in point. Um, so the six pounder there. Is missed the one in the middle is missed. I oh, don't hit him. He's okay. Um, I, I I'm not. I shouldn't be rolling two dice. Um, him miss. Him miss. Not not him. Uh, two inch mortar. No, and him is hit. Double save on him, the old chap. Uh, dead. Uh, so he's on a four up swaps. So you have to replace him. So the two-inch mortar will basically be the new guy. Is he still? Yeah, yeah, he, 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 he's, yeah he just fills the foxholes. Um, so three pounds and threes are going to target the infantry it, that yeah. in the open, and the other one's going to go um, MGs into the six-pounder. So sixes. Because you're gone to ground, so it's a hit. One hit on a six pounder. Okay, okay. And then the rest will go into your infantry. Uh, oh, so just enough to pin you again. So, uh, what have you got? Four rifle teams and a boys on tank, so it's two plus a swap, so basically not the two inch mortar. Uh, so boys on tank on the swan section. Yeah. Uh, okay, and then four rifle teams. Mm -hmm. Ah, all good. Okay, very good. Satisfying roll. Uh, same event, these are just going to repeat their bombardment. Uh, so the six pounder closest to me. Is hit. Hmm. Yep. yep. Middle guy is hit. End guy is hit. Um, unit leader. Okay. Hit, yeah. Uh, HQ hit. And the rifle team is hit. So six pounders first if you want. It's okay. Middle. Uh, dead. Uh, last six pounder. He's okay. Uh, unit leader. Oh, it's oh HQ. It's okay. Unit leader. Uh, is okay. Uh, rifle team. 
Okay. Um, Panzer twos are gonna just yeah, they're just main gunning into your Vickers. Nope. And your rifle platoon is already pinned, but I will just fire into the one rifle team I can see with my machine guns because. Yeah. So eight, uh, one so far, and just just two. I I, I, I don't think I'm gonna get him. I need a hail mary six. Oh no. Okay. Um, Rommel is gonna fire his machine guns into the vicars. I guess six. <laughs> um, so assault step, uh, shoot and scoot these. Fired? No, no, they, uh, no, I, 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 I haven't fired them yet. Um, I can target the infantry around it. Um, I think. I, I'm not so worried about the boys. <laughs> um, I'm going to have... Four shots into the infantry platoon. Uh, and I'll just put it onto the guy right in front of me. It's okay. I'm going to shoot and scoot the Semventes, which I do. So I will have cover as you come at me. Huh? Yeah. And then assault. So first one is going to be Panzer twos. So the boys can fire, be plus one, plus two harder the hit because of the smoke and you're pinned. Oh Jesus Christ, you do actually hit me. <laughs> uh, what's your anti tank? <laughs> it is four. So eight sides of one. So it bounces. God, what's that? that dice? Uh, what's my uh, skill rating on the, the veterans? So first two, second two, yeah, the Vickers are gone. And all you need to do now, so you can counter-attack, because those two teams, I just double-check, are within four, or you could just break off. These two, yeah. Get a re-roll as well. But I think, oh no, you're, you're a Bulldog, so you're three plus counter-attack. <coughs> yes, I will come to that. Okay. You get a reroll. You say no. So they have to break outside of eight inches of the Panzer twos. Next one then is going to be a bit of a cheese one because it's going to basically go to and not contact in. Him because that will get his um, defensive fire off. But you two, your your boys anti tankers. Oh no, yeah, you can target the guy on the end. Jesus Christ! Actually, um, my side armor is three, so that equals. So you can bail it. Two swings on the six pounder. Dead. And then you get the counter attack. Two dice, the threes. All right, they're in. So everyone within four can come in. Okay, so British have bailed one, and I get the counter attack. I do. So I'm going to swing, putting it on your HQ with my active tank. No. So you counter. You do, and then we'll come back. So no more d uh, different, uh, no more damage onto my tanks. Uh, so counter attack, yes. Swing onto your HQ. Right, your HQ's dead, but you get to swap on a four up. No, he's dead, dead now. So one swing, uh, uh, one counter attack. Well, yeah. Additional damage, counter. Yep. Yeah. Swing. Yep. Yeah. 
while he's gone. It's because they're all stuck on the, the bailed out tank, so counter. Yep, yeah, so three swings. He's okay. Counter. I break off. The problem was I couldn't actually get away from eight inches with that guy, so I just left him there as a rack. And they've consolidated the foxholes. <laughs> that sounds like you a choice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's just because it, it, going further away, it's because that guy on the end uh, stopped him doing it. Um, and I, I am just going to measure up and might launch another assault uh, with this Petunia since there's only one six pounder firing one shot. So I'll lose at least one Panzer three, and maybe a second one bailed out. Well, actually. Yeah, 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 he might as well. I moved in, contacted three teams, dodged the defensive fire, and I killed my three teams. So you counterattack. No, oh. so you break off um, eight inches. That's how we've ended German turn four. So British turn, we've got a fair few rally tests. First platoon. Yeah. Second platoon. No. You do have a lucky card. Do you have a lucky card? No, I don't think I do. No, I don't. Oh, no, you don't. You have hands that. Yeah, I, I knew you had two. I couldn't remember what the other one. The big platoon that's left. Still not. Oh. That's. And awesome. your last six pounders are coming on. Yeah. Okay, so. Okay. Movement. Valentines have tactically moved to help engage the Panzer Shrees. The Crusaders have moved there because these didn't rally. These guys, the, these three teams are now contesting the objective to stop Jimmy losing next turn. But we've got shooting. We've got a two. We got a twenty-five pounder who can see two Panzer Threes. Is it long or short range? Long range. Oh, hang on. Yeah, long range. Uh, so hit on fives. Two hits. Uh, front armor goes to six or three sequels. So first one, second one. So three plus will kill. Yep, so one's dead. <coughs> uh, and then one Valentine can only see him. <coughs> well, the both us. <laughs> I think only one can, see, two can see. Oh, I well, know he'll be looking over him, so he can't. So he can. I think he's got a range. He's got a good range. Okay. Three shots on fives. Hang on. What would your armor go to? Six. So it can bail me. I can only bail. Yeah. That's good to get those shit dice out of there. <laughs> so one Valentine can only hit him, so he'll be hitting me on a. F Five, because he's still firing. No, and the other two can. Uh, it's like the middle one. Yeah. No, and then these two crusaders just roll up. They're hitting on force. So two hits. So one, both on the objective. You can see. Yeah. So first guy, second guy. Uh, there's a potential to kill. <coughs> Bail. And the boys. Anti tank can't do anything, not from the front. So the what you need to do is to survive machine gun fire next turn. In my turn five. Okay, so first of all, remount. He doesn't get back in. Last stand. He runs away. Uh, aircraft comes in. I intended to go for the bofers, but if you kill another unit, that will knock me down, so... I don't really want them to come in. <laughs> I think I might just go for the... No, I'm not, I'm not going to have them coming in, because right. if you kill another unit, that's not good. Okay, so during the movement, I moved up to get ready to assault, uh, if need be. Um, so first up, um, I'll fire the platoon, that's right in front of you. So, so far, I have been able to get five hits consistently. Right, because these three ones are the ones I really need to kill. Um, so I'll do him separate because I think you can only see him, the one right in front of him anyway. 
and then the other shots. Right. So that will go, and he can see him as well, so it'll be like that. Okay, so roll your saves. And then middle guy, end guy, yeah, he's a dead. Oh, so you did it after that, like that? Yeah. Okay, I see. Okay, uh, and then my HQ tank is going to fire, he can see all of them. So I am going to put it like that and that. Oh, fuck. <laughs> well, the, the Panzer IVs are going to struggle a bit here. So Panzer IIs, uh, what, only two of them could fire. Uh, what, how many MGs do they have? I think it's three each. Three, yeah. Hit on fours. Two saves. On the one, one guy. On one. Ask him. <sighs> Unfortunately, I, I think it was your, your choice of reserves. It was, yeah. Uh, MVP for you would probably be, I, I would call the six pounders, because they, when they popped, they were the biggest threat to me. I know they didn't do much, but I had, to, they were, they were worrying. Very worrying. Uh, I mean, this was a rock or something, this was. Yeah, it, it, it could have been, it could have been better for you if your six pounders, all your six pounders had started, which I think you could have. I need to look at my list again, and like. Look at how I should have. <coughs> but I definitely. Yeah. I don't really know what your MVP would be because, like, everybody just. I think it's, the, it, it's this Panzer 3 platoon, I think. Because they're the ones who pushed you off the objective. Yeah. And they think I wasn't going to assault with them. But, yeah, that's how the campaign goes. But, um,. We might as well roll our priority roll for now for the next, for the last battle because basically in terms of the campaign, if Jimmy wins his priority, I think the allies will take the campaign no matter the result of the game. So set, do you want to set the bar on me? Set the bar. I get plus one and I break ties. Let's just roll at the same time. Oh, it could be. Crucial, and I, let's see if uh, you can potentially destroy my Firestorm units. 